show you how to get started with your Wi-Fi Magnascope. First you need to switch on your scope. This is the on off switch. Roll it upwards till you hear a click sound and set it to full brightness. As you can see your LED lights have come on now. This is your connection switch. You need to make sure your switch is set to Wi-Fi. When your switch on the scope is set to Wi-Fi and you switch your scope on, this green light will appear. This is a Wi-Fi signal and it takes about 30 seconds for it to come on. This is your magnification roller to adjust your magnification till you get a sharp image. Now I will start by showing you how to install your scope software on Windows. You have been provided with a CD in the box. You need to put that CD into your computer CD room and let it run. After that you need to open the folder and you will get two such folders. You need to select the Windows folder. After that you need to find a folder called Hair Check. You need to double click the folder. After you go into the folder, you will find a file called haircheck.exe. You need to double click to run that file. You need to double click this file to run the software. After you run the software, you will get an error message. Please insert your U key. You need to insert your encryption key which has been provided to you in the box into your computer. Once you do that, you will come to a window like this. Now you need to connect your scope to your computer. Go into the Wi-Fi option and wait for it to scan Wi-Fi till you see a network that looks like this. Select the network and click connect and wait for the network to connect. After that you will be asked with an option connect to Wi-Fi without setting it up. You need to select that option and click it. After your scope has been connected to your computer, you need to restart scalpcheck.exe. You will see a circle like this. You need to wait for your scope to connect. Once you get a live image that shows something like this, you need to adjust the magnification roller on your scope to get a clear and sharp image. Once you do that, your scope is ready to use on your windows or laptop. Now I will show you how to install your software on your Android devices or Android phones. You need to connect your Android device first to your computer. At the same time you need to go back to your CD and select the Android folder. Inside that you will find a file called haircheck.apk. You need to copy that file. Now go to the internal storage of your device and paste it over there. After you paste it, you need to disconnect your device from your computer. Go into your device file manager and locate the file where you had pasted it earlier. Once you find the file that looks like this, you need to click on it. After clicking, you will be asked to install. Select the install option. You will be asked what kind of installer would you prefer. You have to select package installer. And finally you click on install. Wait for your app to be installed. Once it's done installing, you have to click done. After you are done, you need to go to the Wi-Fi settings of your device and scan for a Wi-Fi network that looks just like this. After you find it, you need to double click on that Wi-Fi and click connect. Once your device is connected, you need to go back and click and run the hair check app which you had just installed on your device. After you run the app, you will find an image that looks like this. You need to adjust the image with the magnification roller on your scope till you get a clear and sharp image. After you have completed this, your scope is ready to use on your Android tablet or phone. I will show you how to insert a logo in your Android device. As you can see the screenshot on screen, you need to type L-O-G-O logo 
in the name column after that you will have your gallery open you go into your gallery select the particular folder select the image and your image will show on the top right side of your screen now I will show you how to use your software as you can see on screen there are few different op options you can use one is the freeze button one is the customer information column you have your hair diagnosis scalp diagnosis before and after and you have your save option now this is your scalp diagnosis interface over here on your left hand side you will have your live image and on your right hand side you will have your comparison images after you click an image you can compare that image to whatever you feel is closest it could be healthy hair dull hair dry hair or damaged hair after that you can go back and go into your scalp diagnosis interface over here it is the same you have your live image on your left hand side and you have your parameters on your right after you take an image you can decide whether the image is healthy oily sensitive hair loss or dandruff in each of these interfaces after you decide what your comparison is closest to you can you can click the save option and your comparison will be saved into your device memory along with its customer name and the parameter selected for before after this is your before after layout on your left hand side you have your live image and on your right hand side you can pull an image from your gallery which has been taken before after you take your live image you need to double click on the right hand side and take the image which you have taken before and as you can see you can choose and show your comparison the difference between your image taken currently and your image taken before after that you can save the image into your gallery by pressing the save button this is your measure option when you click on the measure button below you will come to this interface this is currently a live image after you click your live image you can as shown on screen you can tap the image and measure whatever you prefer like hair thickness or scalp area or pore that's up to you after that you can hit the save button to save the image into your gallery